welcome back. <laughs> Scruffy's uh, ready for another treat and we're going to do some nail clipping. On uh, my last session I mentioned cleaning the face. Uh, if you find, I forgot to mention, if you find after you've cleared out all the crud under his eyes it's a little bit irritated. Sometimes it happens because it gets so stuck there that no air can get underneath and it remains wet. Uh, once it's all cleaned up you can put a little polysporin be careful not to get into their eyes and I know I'm not a vet but it has helped for other dogs in the past. So today we're going to do his little feet and I know everybody freaks out. So get prepared, your table, your pad, whatever you need, your treats. We've got little guy here helping and stipic powder. If you don't have that, that's when the nails get cut too short and it bleeds. Unfortunately, accidents do happen. Uh, you can always use cornstarch, which I didn't bring out here because hopefully we won't need it all, but you should have that ready as well. So first thing we want to do is, come on, we'll start with your back feet. Okay, how to hold the foot. If you grab the foot, if you grab a dog, his instinct is going to be to pull. He didn't get that, eh? No. He's going to pull. But, <laughs> see now he's a little unsure. If I take his foot like this, very gently, he'll be much less prone to react. So he doesn't mind, I'm touching him. So that's one trick. You'll see, your dog may still pull, but we can go. So we'll start with the back. And what I'm doing here is trimming the fur around his feet, around his pads, to make it easier to cut. Be careful not to cut the pad because they are they do have feelings and some dogs get royally matted in there so you can clip up the fur. If you have clippers, that's what I usually use, but most people don't have clippers at home. Um, it's to make sure that if you go for a walk, they don't get all full of if there's still snow or now at this time of year, mud, etc. Just able to keep the feet cleaner. So now we've got our nail clippers here. <laughs> He's going because he hates this too. You see, I'm not only the groomer's dog. And what we do is trim just the tip a little bit at a time. And you see it's white there. We can trim a little bit more. And once you start to see the little dot, you know you're getting to the quick. So that's where you'd stop. If you're uncomfortable with this whole process, which most people are, you can always use an emery board and file. A lot of dogs don't mind this. It does the same job. It'll take you a lot longer, but at least you'll be able to get the nails filed down. His are not too long. As you can see, it's a little bit pink because he wears them quite, quite well when he walks. Only things that do get long this little guy because they never touch the ground are the dew claws. So once again, a little bit of time. There we go. Good boy. And um, let's see if I've forgotten to tell you anything. Um, yeah, holding your dog as you saw when I did the back. I held him like, whoops, whoops, come on, buddy. Like this. And it can also support his weight. And for the front, you can do the same idea like this. And like that to do the other paw. So he's not even attached, mind you, he's very calm. Okay, Scruffy. Good boy. These don't have to be done very much because he's. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That would give you an idea. And. Cut a little at a time, as I said, use the emery board. There we go. And once you're set. If, if he doesn't tolerate it, you can do a little bit each day. And that's it for nails. See you tomorrow. <laughs>